Do you want to keep your device jailbroken with the Uncovered Jailbreak on iOS 13 through 13.5 without it inadvertently updating to iOS 13.5.1 and thus locking you out of jailbreaking for the foreseeable future? I mean, it's meant to be a rhetorical question, but seriously, the answer should be an unequivocal yes, you definitely do. And if that's the case for you, like I'm sure it is for, well, everyone, then you want to watch through this video in its entirety. I'll definitely make it a quick one because there is one thing you absolutely absolutely have to do to keep that scenario from happening. And I can almost guarantee if you haven't taken this preventative measure, there's a strong probability your device will auto update to iOS 13.5.1. Okay, so just delving right into this, earlier hacker Pwn to Own, who created the Uncover Jailbreak, tweeted out, quote, there's a bug in the latest versions of Uncover that causes the jailbreak to operate with the opposite of the user preference for disabling auto updates. You should turn off that option and re-jailbreak now to prevent your device from auto updating to 13.5.1. Now, the reason why I haven't made a video yet on this subject is twofold. First, I fully expected a brand new version of Uncover to be released that caused the auto update disabling function inside of Uncover to work properly. And second, Apple is still signing iOS 13.5, so if that accidentally happened to you, you could go back. But I want to get this video out before the signing window closes because I have a very, very strong feeling it could happen today or sometime really soon. So chances are good that by the time you're watching this video, that has already happened. So I want this to go out to as many of you as possible. Definitely share it. If you happen to know someone who jailbreaks, who hasn't already taken this measure, and like I said, Chances are probably a lot of you have not. Here's why. Because when you go to jailbreak by default, this setting is automatically checked. Disable auto updates. Well, let me show you what happens with this checked. Even inside of your jailbroken state. Here, I'll show you right now. My device is currently jailbroken. I can load up Cydia or anything that I obtain via Cydia. When I go inside of the settings app, followed by general and then software update, guess what happens? It pulls back iOS 13.5.1, which as many of you know, was only released to close the jailbreak. That's literally it. More details on that in your cards right now. But this is a very glaring problem that will cause a lot of people to be locked out of jailbreaking, especially if they had automatic updates toggled on prior to jailbreaking, because that is always something you want to ensure that you have off. But with the combination of things, for example, if you had automatic updates on and if you jailbroke without changing this setting, then chances are good, guess what? You will be locked out of jailbreaking because your device will auto update. So this is a very, very easy fix. Now, unfortunately, if your version of Uncover isn't working and you're waiting on the no computer jailbreak method to be re-signed, definitely just go inside of the settings app and toggle off automatic updates inside of general software updates, and then just wait for a new version of Uncover for the no computer method to be re-signed so you can do this at that point, or just grab a computer and side load it via alt store and alt server. Tutorials for that linked down below in the description. But at any rate, for everyone who currently has an operating version of Uncover, just go inside of Uncover, tap on the little settings cog in the upper left-hand corner, and then toggle off disable auto updates. It seems counterintuitive, but check this out. When we go ahead and hit re-jailbreak, which if you're already in your jailbroken state, that's fine. Just hit re-jailbreak. If your device has recently rebooted, then in that case, you can just hit jailbreak. The exact same result will apply regardless of whether your device was previously in its jailbroken state or not. Just toggle that setting off and then tap on the blue button at the bottom of uncover. And once you do that and then go inside of settings, general, software update, boom, unable to check for update. And I'll take it even a step further and I'm gonna go ahead and reboot this device using Power App, which is a very helpful and useful utility inside of Cydia from the default repositories. Just search for Power App. It lets you do all sorts of things and send your device to reboot automatically. It's really cool, I use it all the time. But at any rate, let's wait. I'll just cut right here and I'll be at the lock screen. All right, now swiping up, 
I'm going to input the device's passcode and uh, show you, obviously, I just rebooted, but you can see here that Cydia crashes, Power App crashes, we're not inside of our jailbroken state, inside of settings, general software update, out of our jailbroken state, you can see that it says unable to check for updates. So this actually breaks it. Surprisingly, that option inside of the Uncover application has the inverse effect. And uh, you definitely wanna to toggle it off. And once you do, then it should remain Remember that setting at least until you delete uncover and install a new iteration of it it will maintain all of the settings that you have toggled so like I said just toggle it off re jailbreak enable your jailbroken state and you are good to go you should not inadvertently update to iOS 13.5.1 and also if you were in your unjailbroken state for an extended period of time and your device happened to download the OTA update for iOS 13.5 5.1. Before doing any of this, you need to go inside of settings, general, followed by iPhone storage or iPad storage if you have one, and wait until it loads and look to see if you have iOS 13.5.1 downloaded here as an OTA update. It will just be listed as 13.5.1 and then you would tap into it and then you tap on delete and then you can proceed with actually going through the motion of toggling off disable auto updates and then re-enabling your jailbreak. So I really hope this video helped you guys out. Like I said, if you know anyone who jailbreaks and who didn't do this because I can guarantee that a large segment of jailbreakers have not taken this measure, then share this video with them. I hope it helps. And uh, yeah, guys, enjoy your jailbreak. And until next time, this is ICU signing out.